Given the way everything's flexing all over the place, I'm amazed to get any kind of result at all. Welcome or welcome back to Harris. This week we are carrying on with the HTD pulley um, for my 7x14 Chinese mini lathe. Now where we left it last week is we needed to cut a keyway um, comparable with the old pulley that we're replacing, if you can see that there. Made slightly more complicated by the fact I don't have any brooches. I have cut a keyway before, which I hand filed. Um, I think that was for the SX2P Sieg Mini Mill hand wheel, uh, which I did. I'll leave a link to that in the description if you're interested. Um, so we're going to have to improvise. Now, I have found something I made a long time ago, actually on my Sieg micro lathe. I have found some old footage of me making that cutter. I have to say it's not particularly great quality, but let's have a look at it now just so you get the general idea. And there's the finished product. So I think the first thing to do is cut a piece of this tool steel off that uh, we can use as a bit. Obviously, we don't want so much steel because it's got to still fit inside the um, inside the bore of the pulley. Also, I'm going to have to grind this eight mil width down to four mil because the keyway we're cutting is four millimetres. The tricky bit there is obviously I want to get that four millimetres as close to four millimetres as I can. Can't be too small, clearly, or the key won't fit, um, but also as close to the centre as possible, so that uh, when we line the pulley up in the, in the mill, and then substitute our uh, our tool here for the DTI, the dial test indicator, which I'm going to use. We then want our um, the cutting part of the tool to be as centred as possible. So astoundingly, I have actually managed to cut something which um, pretty much spot on four millimeters. You can see that, and that's actually a really nice fit. And the other end is a bit undersized, so that's good. That's a bit of relief. So I think that's going to do it. Mount that in the mill. Every downward push is a is a scrape. That's what it looks like. You can see next to it there's um, a false start uh, right at the beginning. Kind of made a pig's ear of that. And it's just... Now you can see it's reasonably square there. When I put the key in there, it's not seating very well. It's just slightly too narrow. So um, I'm going to have a little go with the file and we'll see where we get to. Well, I think I'm counting this as a win. Um, with very, very little work with a file, I mean, really, just a few strokes on the edges, just to bevel the hard edges down a bit. Um, 
that goes on really nicely really very little play at all I'm really happy with that it is I think even a better fit than the original pulley that went on right well the last piece of the puzzle is I need to make a spacer to um, bring this new HDD pulley to be the same depth uh, as the old one so I need to make a spacer which is one eighth deep, 28 millimeters um, ID internal diameter, and a keyway cut. But generally, um, I don't like to mess around with original parts on machinery. Um, I like to sort of keep them so that I can restore them to their original state should I ever need to, want to sell the machine or whatever. However, a, I can't ever see myself rolling back. I mean, never say never, but I can't really see myself rolling back and putting the old motor back on. B, these pulleys are readily available and they're not expensive. C, if it ever gets to a point where they're not available, anyway, I'm not messing around with the, with the um, cogged bit. It is simply this, uh, this boss on the end that I'm taking a piece off. And it should be easy enough at that point to make a um, space of the right size. So I think for those three reasons, I've really talked myself into the easy option here. And I'm, um, I'm just going to pass off an eighth of an inch and use that as my spacer. That'll come properly dimensioned with a keyway in, so on and so forth. So let's crack on and do that. All right, and having zeroed off uh, on the face of the part... Now I've set up a dial, test dial indicator um, and I need to therefore come in three millimetres. One, two, three. Now at this point I also want to take into account the thickness of the blade itself so I will need to add that I should have measured this really before and that I can tell you is just about one and a half so let's come another one and a half which will be what 50 And they're pretty much bang on is our eighth of an inch. The only thing that's um, now concerning me a little, I'll show you in a minute, is uh, there seems to be a lot of slop on this belt. So what I want to do is mount something there, I think, that's adjustable and I can um, adjust the tension on it. It will also, I hope, bring more teeth to around to engage with the pulley. So that's a little job I shall probably be doing um, next week. I'm not sure whether I'll do a video about it. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, Harris, and I hope to see you next time.